Are you gaining weight because of your hormones? Let's talk about it. Yes, hormone weight gain is a thing. We all know it. Going up three to five pounds with premenstrual bloating, retaining that extra weight through menopause, and then there's the fat deposits on your hips and thighs when you're younger. And then as you progress through perimenopause and into menopause, your upper arms get chubby and your back and your belly, you're pretty much carrying around a layer of extra fat from armpits to hips. Why? Well, it's because your hormones get out of balance. Your hypothalamus goes into survival mode. And women are survivors. The extra fat we can store is why women are the best ultra marathoners. It's that fat storage that helped the women of the Donner Party survive the winter. So let's not fight it. Let's give our body what it needs to stay metabolically active and burn that fat. Unopposed estrogen is why we hold on to water weight and favor fat storage. Now, estrogen is not bad. She's your joy hormone. Without her, you're going to feel moody and depressed. Estrogen helps us remember. Without her, you can't remember why you walked into the room. Estrogen helps keep your skin and your hair and your nails youthful and healthy. Without her, you're saggy, wrinkly, and balding. So what do I mean by unopposed? You see, estrogen needs progesterone to keep her in balance. When you're under stress, your progesterone fuels your adrenal stress hormone, cortisol, leaving estrogen unopposed. When you're going through perimenopause, you're not ovulating regularly, which means you're not producing enough progesterone. And that leaves estrogen unopposed. Remember, estrogen is the fertilizer. It nourishes your cells from your eyes to your vagina, from your brain to your gut, keeping everything lush, juicy, youthful, and healthy. Progesterone is the gardener. It knows which cells have outlived their welcome, like when it's time to shed the lining of your uterus and have a period like turning off breast cell growth so you don't get cancer. Estrogen and progesterone are partners. They need to be in balance. Taking Genesis Gold will help keep your hormones in balance. Plus, by supporting your hypothalamus, Genesis Gold can prevent it from going into survival mode so that you don't store every calorie you put in your mouth as body fat. There are also foods that can help you lose the fat and the water weight induced by estrogen. Number one is cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, the stinky veggies, the ones that smell like rotten eggs when you cook them, those are cruciferous vegetables. It's the sulfur bearing molecules in the cruciferous vegetables that help you metabolize your estrogen safely. The molecule is IC3-indole called D-indole-methane or DIM. The more cruciferous veggies you eat, the better you can metabolize your estrogen into safe, non-inflammatory estrone. And that means less water weight and less fat storage. The second is soybeans. Soy is rich in iperflavone, which also helps you metabolize estrogen more safely. Iperflavones are weak estrogens that can block your estrogen receptors from responding to inflammation, especially inflammatory 16-hydroxyl estrone, meaning less water weight and less fat storage. But you need to limit the amount of soy protein you eat to less than 20 grams per day, or the soy iperflavones will also block your thyroid hormone receptors. Thyroid hormone controls your metabolism, so you don't want to block it. If the receptors are blocked and T3 cannot get into your cells, you produce less energy. Less energy production means you won't use the calories that you consume and they'll be stored as body fat. The third food is fatty fish. 
the long chain fatty acid, EPA, from fish oils helps protect you from inflammatory estrogen. You can only get EPA from fatty fish like salmon and halibut, tuna, cod, mackerel, sardines. Krill is also a good source of EPA. Three to four ounces of fatty fish a few times a week will help you lose the fat and water retention. Be sure to get wild caught, not farm fish. Why? Because it's the cold water that induces the fish to make the omega-3 essential fats like EPA. The fourth is lean protein. Lean protein like chicken and turkey helps to satiate you, making you not as hungry. Lean protein induces your fat cells to make leptin. When your hypothalamus perceives that it gets enough leptin from your fat cells, it turns down your hunger hormone, ghrelin, and turns up your metabolism. Now that means you burn more body fat. So include lean protein with every meal. And the last is asparagus. One of the best foods to help you release water weight is asparagus. Asparagus has a natural diuretic effect, meaning it helps flush your tissues and your kidneys. Include two to three half cup servings of cooked asparagus in your weekly menu plan. Now you can boost the diuretic effect by adding a cup of uva ursi tea whenever you're feeling particularly bloated like premenstrually. Remember, estrogen's job is to nourish your body, but it can be too much of a good thing, especially if you're not metabolizing estrogen properly or you're not making enough progesterone. So let's make friends with our estrogen and help her help us stay fit and healthy. I'll see you in the next video.